We move the patient right through the gantry for the anesthesia, so we're by their head and can reach them with our tubes. This always works very well. It's the consensus in our team that we use general anaesthesia and not deep sedation. Firstly, because you can't always predict how long the procedures will last. And secondly, with some patients, we need to stop them breathing while we navigate. Our standard anaesthesia method employs sevoflurin and remifentanil. With patients who we know experience severe vomiting, severe nausea, also known as PONV, following anaesthesia, we administer the anaesthetic intravenously using propofol, which makes vomiting much less likely. I'd say you can use any relaxant you like. We use rocuronium, which you can later antagonize, but I'd say that it's in the eye of the beholder. Positioning the patient for CT is more difficult than for an operation. Everyone has to help, which was initially a bit tricky, but we all learnt together and got help from the surgical department. That's important, because they do this every day. For us anaesthetists, success is when the patient is in the recovery room and after a relatively short period, an hour at most, they're pain-free, with no nausea or vomiting and have no complications, meaning we can transfer them to the normal ward.